lovely friends today's video is an update here that we are in Quintana Roo a little tour of the house where we are what we think about being a house in comparison with the three years traveling in our camper van then let's come in and I will show you the inside It's home. This is our living room. Lot of space. Here we have our kitchen. Here we have what will be for lunch. Picanha. Mm. Then we have here the living room. The sleeping room for the dogs. They have there where to lay. Up there we go to the rooms. The pool is just here amazingly. And there is Fabian doing a barbecue. Pretty nice! Now I'm cleaning here the second floor, the first floor. Ooh, the light is blinking because there's a storm coming soon. Dogs are changing hair a lot the last days because of the change of weather. And then these moments are the moments that I love to be in our truck because it's smaller to clean, easier to clean than really, than really in a big house like this one is. Once it's all clean here, I come back and I show you the rest of the house. <laughs> the nice part of being in a house with swimming pool is that now I'm pretty sweaty, it's really hot, it's in between cleaning the house, I can go jump in the pool, refresh myself and keep on cleaning later on. <laughs> this is the first time that we have a pool at home and we really like it a lot and we are thinking that if you will stop one day our trip or if we have a day somewhere the place needs to be with hot weather and we needed to have a swimming pool because it's pretty cool that you have this freedom to enjoy your space whenever you want we really don't need a big house like that. It's nice for two months to work in our YouTube channel so you really uh, have your own space in this quarantine time. But apart from that, we love our little truck and we will go some pretty soon back there to enjoy our journey. Welcome to Live and Give 4x4. We are Fabian and Isabella and together we travel the world since over three years in our wonderful 4x4 truck with our two doggies, Pasco and Uni. That's what I want to tell you guys. Uh, we did uh, two weeks ago, I think, a fumigation on the house because here come a lot of animals inside the house, like scorpions. I think I have a video of that you guys will see in this video. Oh wow, check it out. Show. Unfortunately, we had to kill him because our dogs were laying here, but we have a scorpion. And now we will throw outside. We were so scared. We were laying on the couch and where everything dark, we were looking to view. And then Fabian said, Isabella, there is a scorpion on the floor. I said, what? <laughs> And then Uni was laying just there and Basco started to be curious and he starts to go close by with his nose and we're like, what do we do now? <laughs> but then we had a special spray on the house that is to kill that, supposedly, alacranes, and we spray, it was sad, but we could not do other thing. <laughs> Yes, we saved him. Have fun in the wilderness again. Don't come back under our fridge. 
So what what's happening today? Uh, they are doing the fumigation of the house for all kinds of animals, scorpions, ants and spiders. Wow. So since we park here a little longer, I guess it was so nice to also spray my tires that there is no ants and everything going inside. Just making sure. Perfecto. Also, flies, they have like this, I think it's the horse fly come a lot of them and after this fumigation I can show you here on the floor because all of them die and it's so painful when they bite you it's crazy I finish this room then again give you a tour of the whole first floor <laughs> I just vacuum cleaner the whole thing and I came up and there's uh, this house is also in this room with a shower we never used but it's nice if you, somebody with a big family wanted to rent that and then from here we go to the first floor sleep room. Now it's clean! Ta -da! And we also have here a shower. And this is the one that most of the time we use. We have all our stuff there, everything from the truck we brought here. And yeah, it's pretty cozy and nice. Funny thing is that this sink, I don't know if you guys can see here, on the mirror is really like I don't see myself in the mirror. Then I have this little step. And like a little kid, I step in my step, then I can see myself in the mirror. <laughs> it's made for somebody big, I think. Then here's the closet area. We brought a few clothes of us, Fabian side, Isabella side. We don't have a baby, but if we would have, here is a place to put your baby on. And from here we have this little terrace. And there you see again, Frank the Tank! It's open because we let air circulate on the car every day. Then every day in the morning we open and that's it. And now we go back to the room. Look at this. And this is our third floor. This is our sleep room. We sleep here because we have, like you guys can see, two terraces and the wind flow really well. Swimming pool view. And trees and birds every morning here. And in this side, Also birds sing in the morning, is a little other terrace for sunsets and all that. And there we have Frank the Tank, woohoo! The entrance of the house is there, our motorcycle is there. It's pretty nice. A little shower, toilet, more than what we need, but it's pretty cool. times of pandemic uh, quarantine um, yeah you use your home like for different stuff Most of the day walking in bikini and underwear <laughs> because it's too hot and we go every hour to jump on the pool to refresh ourselves then yeah it's nice to have that here in the house but come here and let's talk a little about what is the difference between living in a house and living in a camper van for me 
the big thing is the work that you, the time that you lose it cleaning a big house. It's amazing. And with the two dogs, and they are really like babies because I needed to go the whole house taking care of the toys that they leave everywhere all the time. Pick it up for each room, a different toy. Look, now the toy goes to the terrace. That they lose hair a lot, changes of weather and all that. Also, you have like too many things. It's basically to put too many stuffs. And then it's more to take care of than point for the camper van. Second, in a house things break, but break in a different level than we are when you are traveling with your camper. It's a minimum for us. Like you have to deal with washing machines that we go to laundromat. We don't need to, if the washing machine breaks in a house, you will stay without. And in our case, we go always, always to the laundromat. If your laundromat is closed, we go to the next one. Then we never need to deal with machines breaking. And of course, if your fridge breaking and all that, then we will take care. But I think that is not so much minimum in our case. We don't have so many things breaking on us all the time. Third, <laughs> we had a big storm, I think it was three or four days ago. I think I have a video of us enjoying on the pool because we love the raining days. And the third is that in a house, you don't, if you don't have electricity, you are a little screwed. <laughs> and in our car, because we generate our own electricity, it's really nice because we never are without electricity and now with our reliance batteries it's pretty cool because we have still more power and is everything more i don't know more organic is more easier you charge when you drive you have the solar panels is more ecologically more friendly i think also than to live in a house number four <laughs> there is like tv Netflix, Sky, and all that. We were pretty excited when we knew that this house had Sky. And we're like, ooh, ooh, ooh we have TV, we can enjoy to see Sky. After two weeks, look in the sky, it's nothing else to see. <laughs> then, and, and take a lot of time. You can spend like a whole day looking at the TV and, is, and don't do anything else. Then we are really glad that we don't have a TV in our truck. We have a TV, but because it came with our truck, but it doesn't work in America, in this continent, then we are really glad that we don't have that because we have time to enjoy doing other stuff. And also now with this quarantine, this time that we have in a year, is so much, much bad news. Make you be so sad, so depressed if you see all that. When you are not so into the news, you feel much more happier and I don't know, I like not to have TV. Then, point for the camper run again. <laughs> now one thing that is pretty cool in the house and that our car doesn't have, this beautiful couch, big couch. This is something that we miss a lot in our truck, then I would say point for the house because it's something that we cannot enjoy so much in our truck <laughs> next of course is a shower in a house you can take long showers you can take more than one shower they something that you cannot do so much when you travel in a truck because of the tank you don't have so much capacity and also when you have the possibility like us 400 liters of water or 100 gallon is, is still not enough because you want to stay 10 days without fill your trunk tank with water then point for the house because we can enjoy more showers <laughs> it's on the rv because it's everything like tiny small and you are always on the move you cannot have things laying around like if you cook you clean your dishes if you take something out of a place and it's to go back to the place then it's not so much mess that is what happened in a house. You saw already the dishes that Fabian need to clean. <laughs> we have a deal. I cook, he clean. The dishes is his. <laughs> Anyways, I think RV wins against house. <laughs> but sometimes, like us, after three years of traveling, being in a house is really nice. We are enjoying a lot this time. We are using to bring a lot of content for you guys. 
and to prepare our web page, our newsletter that we talked so much in the last videos. Don't forget, please, to go there and to sign in. But it's really like nice after so long time to stop a little to enjoy that to have time to focus on other things because when you travel you are always in the move every day you see something new then you don't have really time to focus and to work on the way that you would work if you have a fixed home then for us it's really like nice and positive to be in a house now and yeah we are enjoying a lot our quarantine is perfect is more than enough and then, wow. Wow. for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed and leave us a thumbs up if you like this video see you when we see you it's raining look at that so long that we didn't have a raining time whoa this is pretty cool i love it <laughs> how are you guys good Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be wet, mama. The jungle! So we are in a quarantine spot. Check it out. It's in the pool. Uh, we know it's dangerous in bad weather, but it's not that bad. That's <laughs> cool. You don't like rain, huh? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> not bad. Ready? 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 <laughs> Do you know guys, somebody that's like to drive on the rain? <laughs> this person is Fabian. He misses driving the truck. He just took the truck now on the rain, now on the rain and he left. Look, Oni is here waiting for him to come back. <laughs> he said, oh my god, it's raining, how cool. I go drive a little. Okay. <laughs> And I'm here on the couch, enjoying a little, working a little. Look at who is coming. After a little ride. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I was just telling to the people that I never met before a person that likes to drive on the rain. <laughs> I miss overlanding so much. <laughs> and all the streets are flooded so I can go through the water. <laughs> nice. <laughs>